Hello everyone and welcome by another video about the orchids and today we have an unboxing video and I have to say this one was uh, requested by um, two of my online Facebook orchid friends so uh, <laughs> I hope you guys you are here because uh, this was uh, your request we uh, did order a um, order by uh, Lux orchids and it came today in the mail it has been in transport for about two weeks now um, if I'm correct but well, at least longer than normal so I have no idea how the orchids will look like but I do, did get a uh, new pencil my second orchid pencil <laughs> I like that I can use that and uh, like I said this is the nursery it's from Luck of Luc Orchidea from Germany so let's have a look how the plants do look like and I try to do this with one hand I, as you can see I already opened up the box to make it a little bit easier take a peanut I think it's all done um, all right. I don't know if this works with one hand actually I try to keep them in a box, these bucket peanuts. Otherwise I will have them all over in my greenhouse, but I'm not sure. Maybe. Um, they've been packed very well. But like I said, they've been, they have been on transport for quite a while. This is the first one. I will open them up in a minute and we will have a close look to them. And I feel another one. Oops. That's number two. Do I remember what I ordered? Well, there was one that I remember. But on top of my head. Stupid. You order things and you don't remember what which orchid you ordered and <laughs> it happened to all of us I think most people I watch who do unboxing they most of the times they're not completely sure anymore which orchid they ordered kind of silly but I have at least one Durigan if I pronounce it correctly Catlea because one of those Orchid Friends is really in love with those with the Durgan Cattleya Durgans. So I had a look, and that's why I ordered because I like them as well. So basically, it's her fault that I did have another order, and another order out. If I remember correctly, I did order five. So that should mean that we are now there. Let me check. No, I have another one. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Did I order another one? Maybe a freebie? I have no idea. Oops. I really thought that I had ordered five. But I have six plants here now. Hmm. Maybe there are more. Who knows? <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, and those peanuts are everywhere now. Let me check. No, I don't think we have any more. So I'm gonna take them out of the paper that will not um, work with one hand, and then uh, I will be back and we will have a closer look at the orchids that are orchids. So, be right back. And there they are, the plants. Beautiful plants. And turned out I uh, did order all of them. I don't have a freebie this time, but I didn't remember. But I'm really happy how they uh, how they are looking, even after they're being a bit longer on transport. But first of all, I'm going to tell you which one I did order. And uh, this is the LC Santa Barbara. Really beautiful blooms on this one. These are the pictures. 
and I cannot show the pictures because they are not my pictures and because of copyright issues I, uh, I'm a bit afraid to show the pictures on their website so if you really want to know which one these are you should could go over their website and type in the name this is a BLC Delta King a beautiful yellow one I love my yellow blooms then we have one I'm sorry one uh, Odontia Odontoglossum type Irish treasure surprise this one has the bronzy colors that I like so much I have another plant also an Odontia type which it has the same type of color on the blooms which I really like but I cannot remember the name on top of my head <laughs> I'm sorry Yamandara semi Athens Keylani of Keylani something like that and it has a flower spike as well just like the Irish treasure has so we might have some new beautiful blooms in the near future then we have whoops here we are the BLC golden tail also a nice one with a beautiful new growth there and the last one is the Durigan which I mentioned in the beginning of this video this is the reason why I start ordering <laughs> this order because I looked up the name because of my uh, online or orchid friend was ordering um, some Durigans she has several of them this is my first one and I really like them but I thought yeah I just I, I, at least I must have one <laughs> so yeah beautiful one and this Durican one is the only one that is not making new roots currently the rest of them are all making new roots you can see it on this one for example so if these don't stop growing these uh, new roots if they uh, take the shipment well enough in my uh, in their new climate here in my greenhouse I am going to um, uh, repot these at least these five plants into semi hydroponic actually self watering I should say and I'm gonna wait a little while on this one just to see how this one is doing it has two new eyes but no new roots and I'm the the rest is looking a little bit better this one is uh, having a little bit of a hard time if if you ask me so therefore I'm just just going to see what the orchid uh, does and if it's going to be happy quite quickly in my greenhouse I might do a repot on this and otherwise I'm just waiting a little while a few days a week maybe two weeks just depends on how the arc it takes but normally I repot quite quickly I must admit because I don't like uh, the bark most of the times I find bush snails in them in the pots so I uh, don't want them in my greenhouse and what I do now is uh, even though no, it's uh, in the evening I'm gonna spray them with my uh, pest solution I use the recipe from Miss Archer Girl but I always have my fans running as you can hear and see now <laughs> so they will be up uh, dry quite quickly and thereby if they carry any pest on the leaves I at least uh, kill those like uh, because I don't want uh, any pest in my greenhouse so I try to be as careful as I can and I do this all the time. I never had any problems with the rot, even though after the because they are just arrived in my greenhouse, I just give them uh, a spray with a insecticide just after unpacking them. Like I said, I have never had a problem with it, so I keep doing it. So I I, I am back. <laughs> I th thought I would do a little uh, quick update because um, while I was uh, spraying this. Arcades. This just came out of the box and I sprayed them already. I thought maybe I need to explain my thought process behind this a little bit more. Um, I, like I said, I do this all the time. As soon as I get Arcades in, I put them in my greenhouse. 
Uh, I do not separate them from the rest. I just basically do not have the room, and I. Oh, otherwise I will forget to water them and etc. So therefore I like to have them around my growing space. And I spray them straight away because yeah, most people, um, not, not everyone, but quite a lot of people will give you the advice to just wait a little few days probably, get it acclimated into your growing uh, room etc. Et before repotting or spraying it with insecticides something like that but I uh, do it straight away because I think that these plants are a lit, little bit weakened because of the transport and in my opinion pests do like weakened plants so if they carry any pests and they didn't it didn't bother them it probably doesn't now because the plants like I said is shocked probably a little bit in transplant shock new climate so this, for me, is the perfect time for pests to really get at them. So therefore, to give them a little bit, a heads up, a easier start probably in my new growing uh, situation for them at least, I uh, spray them uh, straight away with a uh, very soft oil-based solution that doesn't do any harm. I use this solution for uh, two years at least now. Like I said, it's the solution, the recipe from Miss Arctic Girl, and I really, really like it. It really works, yeah, quite well. Actually, it works perfect for my, for my, uh, in my experience, for my plants. So therefore, I like give them that straight away, an oil based. I don't know if you can see the, the shine already on the leaves. Probably not. Maybe this one, because of the light, how it catches them. But yeah, that's what I uh, do, and that is my thinking process behind it, why I do it so quickly. Just to help them get going again a little bit uh, easier, I think. This one's a little bit shiny over there. That's because of the oil. So I thought, yeah, I need to uh, add this in the video as well. So now you know a little bit better my uh, thinking process behind, uh, behind why I spray them this quickly and I like the idea of uh, trying to get them as pest free as I can <laughs> so yeah this is the unboxing for this time I hope you liked it and as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye